We're doing a series of social experiments oh on things like <laughs> obedience to authority. We're trying to find out if these aspiring actors will follow their hardwired impulse to obey authority and shock someone simply because they're told it's okay. Please continue. They think they're here to be on a reality show called What a Pain, where it's all part of the game to administer electric shocks to fellow contestants. This woman drew the line. I think I'm going to leave now. What will our next contestant do? She's bubbling over with enthusiasm as she enters the room, but will it last? It's going to hurt, but no, no permanent damage will occur. She watches as Tyler, who's working with us, is attached to what looks like an electrode and strapped into our makeshift electric chair. So this little uh, gizmo is our voltage generator. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, Remember, Tyler isn't really getting shot, but Latifa doesn't know that. I am the worst when it comes to pain. You could just like pluck me away. Like, <laughs> She's told to zap him and increase the intensity with each wrong answer. Perfect. As our hidden cameras roll, you can so see Latifa is visibly four. upset each time she has to shock Tyler. I will administer 120 volts. Hey, uh, okay, uh, uh, guys, this really hurts. Please continue. You can hear her voice begin to crack. That was incorrect. I will administer 135 volts. That was incorrect. I will administer 150 volts. Ah, 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 hey, that's all. That's, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Please I refuse continue. to go on. She gets more distraught with each wrong answer, but keeps on following orders. I will administer 180 volts. Ah, ah, get me out of here. I refuse to go on. Let me out. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting like a kid. Please, please go on. She's clearly upset. Her earlier enthusiasm, gone. Like, I know I'm not the one feeling the pain, but I hear him screaming and asking to get out, and it's almost like my instinct and gut is like, stop, because you're hurting somebody, and you don't even know why you're hurting them outside of the fact that it's for a TV show. Please continue. The next subject is wine. Now we've instructed our actor, Tyler, to stop answering questions and to stop screaming out in pain. If you don't respond within 20 seconds, I would have to administer 300 volts. Okay. The room becomes eerily quiet. And yet Latifa keeps shocking. But she seems so disturbed that I decide it's time to go in and give her a break. Hey, Latifa, I'm Chris Hansen with NBC. Hi. You looked a little upset. I thought maybe we should interrupt here. For Hi. A minute. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Were you getting a little upset? Yeah, my heart's beating really fast. All right, well, calm down. Now, why did you continue to shock him? I didn't know what was going to happen to me if I stopped. What was it about Jeremy? that convinced you that you should keep going here? He just, he had no emotion. I was afraid of him. We'll get back to Latifa in a minute. Right now, another contestant is ready to go. So far, our participants have been women. How will a man do? And it's just a very simple piece of equipment. Will he stand up to our casting director? Aranit gets right into the game and quickly works his way up the shock panel. Hope you don't miss this because the voltage is going to be 105. Well, Aaron Neat seems sympathetic. He doesn't hesitate to flick the switch. Um, I'm really sorry. We are now at 120 volt. He never sorry, questions the authority of the casting director volt. sitting right behind him. Right He's is praised for following you know. orders. Good job. So he keeps on shocking him. We are at 180 volt. It's not that he doesn't seem to feel his pain. 
Hey, Tyler. Does it hurt? I'm sorry. Here is the number 21. We are But he goes two. on. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I'm going to hurt you, and I'm really sorry. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. We Good. are almost through. Good. Okay, let's continue. Now we've reached the point where Tyler goes silent. Is an answer? We're almost there. Will Aranit finally okay. stand up to authority? Please give me an answer, or I'm going to free 405 volt in your body. Five seconds. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. I hope you're doing all right over there. Finally, four hundred and fifty volts. This is going to hurt. The maximum voltage of the machine. Good. Hey, I'm wondering what was he thinking? How did it go today? Great, great. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Did it bother you to shock him? Oh yeah, it did. Actually, it did, and especially when he wasn't answering anymore. Now, what impact do you think? 350 volts has on a human being. Death. Death? That's Were you moment. worried that maybe you would electrocute Tyler? No, of course no. So okay, you no. believe the producers of the show had it all set up to... Of course, so uh, otherwise it wouldn't go on. <laughs> What's the point? Now, the next thing I want to do is bring in Tyler because I want you to know that he's actually okay. Tyler's well, I'm glad to hear that, and I'm glad to see that. <laughs> I didn't hurt you, actually, did I? No. no. Yeah, I had Jeremy here telling me to keep going. So I was like, well, it should be everything a, all right. He was so. a pretty good host here, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. So let's say that I left all the responsibilities up to him and not to me. <laughs> we asked psychologist Michael Shermer what was going on here. They're all looking at your actor for the cue that, is this okay? In other words, if an authority figure says the behavior is acceptable... You can do this. We are almost through. Good. It becomes acceptable. And boy, your actor was good. I mean, he had that authoritative look and voice down, and of course, that, that's how it works in the real world. And just like Dr. Milgram's 1960s results proved, apparently the human impulse to believe what we shouldn't and to go along with authority is alive and well. Think you wouldn't obey? Five of our six contestants willingly administered shocks. Three went all the way to the maximum voltage. I got no more. Remember well, Latifa? Happen, guess, we it, stopped it, her it, because she seemed anguished almost every well, step of the way. Latifa, there's something I've got to tell you. Yes. This is going to be on TV, but it's going to be on Dateline NBC. Oh my God! Are you serious? We're doing a series of social experiments oh my God. to determine why people act the way they do. Where's Tyler? Hey, Tyler, come on in, buddy. Tyler, oh my Tyler god. Tyler is an actor who helped us out and he did not oh get hurt. Oh my one gosh. Bit. I thought it was hurting you. Dr. Shermer says any one of us can be manipulated into believing and doing things we shouldn't. He says it happens gradually. The abuse gets a little bit worse, a little bit worse, such that your standards of tolerance get readjusted upwards to where you're willing to Im impose even more evil than you ever normally would do. So how can we stop ourselves from being gullible? The key, Dr. Shermer says, is to be conscious of our vulnerabilities. The rub here is to find that balance between having a mind open enough that you can accept good opportunities, but not so open-minded you end up believing any and all wacky ideas that come along. There's a balance in there somewhere, and that's difficult to find. <laughs> no hug for Jeremy, huh? <laughs> so the next time you hear a little voice inside saying, warning, Pay attention. So what do you think the lesson of all this is? I mean, it's a little fresh, very emotional. The maybe... lesson that I keep having to learn, yes. follow my freaking gut. There you go. My instinct was telling me stop, and I kept going for whatever reason.